Hi, my name is Ellie and today I'm going to be going over my top five wood-fired pizza oven tips. Let's do it. I've tried just burning with wood in the back of the grate, but I found I've had more success at keeping the heat and also the speed of the heat up of the oven by using a combination of lump wood and hardwood logs with kindling. So I start off with some lump wood and some kindling with my gas burner and I burn that, it ignites, that goes for five minutes. Then after that, I add my hardwood logs, then the lump wood and the hardwood logs builds up the heat within the oven and five minutes before I cook, I add more hardwood and some kindling to get to flame. So as long as I've got my flame for my cook, I'm happy. The lump wood, I keep adding to that to make sure I've got the heat, the basic heat of the oven continuously burning. For me, it's 50% lump wood in my grate and 50% kindling and logs. That for me is like the perfect balance for heat and flames. I use a gas butane torch to light wood-fired pizza ovens. I wasn't comfortable at first, especially putting it on, twisting it, and then clicking it for the ignition. But after a week, I got used to it. I love it now. You have to keep the can upright if you are using it. If you put it sideways or at an angle, it will stop burning. The flame will stop coming out. So you will need to keep it upright to keep it burning, keep that flame. But it only takes about a minute to get the lump wood and the kindling going. And I just find it's a very quick and easy to use. There's no like residue from the fire lighters. It's just the gas hit in the flame and then you're you're good to go. I just unscrew the top off at the end of the burn. I had to buy the can and the top part separately, but I've had the top mechanism for years and it's lasted really well. And I get my butane cans from anywhere, mostly camping shops, places like that, wherever they sell them. At a discount, I just grab them when I see them. I have used other sorts of fire lighters, the little coiled wood with wax on them. I've used those as well and they're really good, but they are more expensive. I find that it's more economical and value for money to use the gas burner. So there are other alternatives. With wood fired ovens, there is a bit more work than with gas fired in that you do keep the grate clean and clean out the chimney if needs be for soot buildup. The grate has got to be clean and the reason why the ash is going to be taken out every time is that the air has to be drawn through to keep your fire going and to get those flames going in your oven. I put the cold ashes on my borders and my plants seem to love it. So that's what I do every time. The stone temperature of wood fired ovens, they get very hot. With the Uni Pro, I reached a temperature that I couldn't even monitor on my laser thermometer, but it had gone well over 650 degrees centigrade. It's not good to get your oven that hot. It wasn't on purpose, but I had a few logs in there that did a, <laughs> they did a really good job, but it's not good for the oven to get it that hot. I know that the Uni Crew 12 and some of the literature in the ovens that you get ask you not to exceed a temperature of 500 degrees centigrade. Now with a wood fired oven, I think that's really hard not to do because wood just gets your oven boiling. And so I, I make a, a concerted effort if I can to try and lower the temperature so I don't get it hotter than 550 degrees centigrade if I can. I don't fill up the, the grate with loads of fuel at the beginning. You don't need that much to get the oven heated up. With the balance of your lump wood and some hardwood logs, at the beginning, your oven is just going to shoot up to the temperature you need in about 15 minutes. If your stone gets too hot, then I have a tip for that, and that's going to be my next one. If your stone gets ridiculously hot, then you will need to get that temperature down very quickly if your pizza is waiting and it's all made up. And the way I do that is by using a cast iron pan. It's super easy. You just place the pan on the stone the pan will take out the heat from the stone and it takes it out. It's about 100 degrees centigrade for every 60 seconds. 
So instead of hanging around with the door off and your pizza hanging around as well, place your cast iron pan on the area of the stone where you need it to come down very quickly. It's as easy as that. It's amazing how simple that is, but it does give you a lot of control. I've never really had a problem getting the stone temperature up with a wood fired oven. It's getting the stone temperature down because I've always found that getting the oven down been more of a, an issue until I realized that the cast iron pan could do that so well. You can use it for cooking other dishes in the ovens, but also it will help you so much with reducing the heat of your stone very quickly. Just to quickly recap, the fuel that I have for my wood-fired pizza ovens is as follows. I have some kindling, which I buy in a bag from my local hardware store, and it's kiln dried. I also buy logs from there in a bag as well, and they're all kiln dried. That's really important that you have little moisture in the logs. I also buy some lump wood. The lump wood and the logs and the kindling I wouldn't be one without the other. I wouldn't just have just logs and no lump wood. It's really important all those come together because the kindling can be used to have instant flame. And sometimes it's really important to get that instant flame when you cook your pizza because you don't want to be hanging around waiting for your flame to develop at the back. The kindling, it'll do it in seconds. Always handy to have some of that by the side of your oven when you're cooking your pizza. So once you've got those items for your wood-fired oven, you're ready to go. Make sure you've got your pizza peels and I have a video on pizza peels if you would like to watch that one about why I use the pizza peels I do for different ovens and I've also got a video on how to light the Uni Crew 12 which you might also find useful because that would also apply to any other wood fired oven because it's the same process I use. But I would advise at the end of your cooking day to take the stone, turn it over and then it's ready on the other side for the next cook. And if you keep doing that for after every cook, you'll find the stone will keep itself very clean with the wood-fired pizza oven. The way I like the Unicrew 12 would be the same way as I like the Unicrew 16. And I have done a video on the Unicrew 16 and I like the oven there, so you might want to watch this one as well. I've linked them all down in the description box below. So I hope you found this video useful. I certainly enjoy making these because there's so many things that I've picked up over the years that have really helped me and I hope that they help you when you start out your new pizza cooking journey. I hope you're okay. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.